since for some reason people kept showing up, of course, Festea was next. He had a letter from Malvolio stating that his recent weird behavior could be explained by a letter he assumed was from Olivia and that he could prove that he wasn't insane. So Olivia ordered Malvolio to be brought to her. I would like to point out that I had no idea about this recent weird behavior, but I was hoping that it might help me get my clothes back. Olivia then told Orsino that she hoped he would accept her as sister-in-law and that we could have a double wedding the next day. Orsino then proposed. <laughs> Although I was not too fond of the term master's mistress. I know this may seem odd to some of you listening, but I do truly love Orsino. Our love grew out of a close friendship that was developed while I was working for him. Mutual trust grew into romantic attraction. We forged a deeper bond of vulnerability than we might have because he didn't feel like he had to filter himself since I was a man. While I think that this double standard of treatment is ridiculous, it is still something that we often have to navigate within society. It was my hope that because he fell in love with me, that love might teach him to be more open-minded because I had taken on the role and actions of a man and he didn't have a problem with that. Maybe as he realized that I could do anything a man could, it would teach him to treat women as equals. He could love me and treat me as an equal, whether I was in a dress or not.